In this video, we're gonna talk about Aximetry and their upcoming app that makes their green screen tool even easier to use. You're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, Vue, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. All right, so we're back at Aximetry with Jamie. Good to see you again. Good seeing you, man. Uh, so what, I know we got a kind of a new beta feature we're testing here. What do we got going on? So there's a new beta product they're working on, and I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's game-changing and it's fast. It's called Eximetry Instant. Okay. And they're looking for a release date. It's in beta now, but okay. they're looking for a release date no later than September. And I don't know if this is going to be a standalone product. I know it will be bundled with Eximetry. Okay. But they might be looking at possibly a standalone product. I'm not for sure. Okay. But either way, it is pretty amazing. You could you can do you can do virtual production in a matter of minutes. I can guess what it does with the instant name, but do you want to show me what Absolutely. We got so, going? if you've been following Eximetry, you know Eximetry eyes went out for a while, right? Yeah, the so, iPhone app. Yep, yeah. yep. So, this works with the iPhone app and like I said, it's super fast. So, if you look over here, we've got our iPhone app up and running. Okay. And here's the interface of Eximetry Instant. And basically it'll come with preloaded sets. Okay. And they might have the ability to load an Unreal Engine set later. I don't know yet. It's uh, in beta. I think they're looking for suggestions. Or maybe a marketplace or something. It, exactly. Submitted exactly. sets. Okay. So as simple as launching Eximetry I. Uh -huh. uh, we've got a, a network connection to our laptop here. Now we're gonna choose a set. And this is called this is called Alley. And the next thing we want to do is we want to tell Eximetry Instant where the green screen is, okay? okay? So we have a QR code we have right down here. We're going to snap that QR code. You'll see a check mark come on the screen. We're not going to take this QR code and we're going to put it on the right here. So that's measuring the width. So now that's going to take a picture of that, boom. We're going to get handed this. It's going to do an automatic key. And then here in a second, Bam, you're going to be in your virtual set. And right now. So that is it. That's awesome. And I'm it's, looking at the key now, yeah. Like it's very clear. And that's, you know, it's 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 in beta, you know, but I think it's gonna be a game changer for like, you know, YouTubers, uh -huh. things like that. I think it's just gonna add, you don't have to be like an Unreal Engine expert. To, right. Because to, to do this on like the the pro level of Aximetry, it would be kind of like a node. Uh, a little bit more complicated. It would be setup. nodes, you know, you'd have to set up a tracking, you know, solution if you didn't have a tracking yeah. solution. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're a one man band, mm. you know, you'd have to have another operator helping you do this stuff. I mean, literally you could put your, your iPhone on a tripod, mm. right? Do your QR code, do your other QR code, stand in the middle real quick, you're keyed out, ready to go. Yeah. You know, so I think the one man band stuff will be, you know, really, really cool and interesting to see what happens That's with awesome. that. Uh, do you know if there'll be any options if you want to add or use other cameras? I think right now it's in beta. Uh -huh. And I think if anybody has any suggestions, to, to reach out to them because they're really open to that. Because I would like to have, you know, a streaming option right here in this interface, you know, to, to either go to an SRT where I can send to like a news channel, uh -huh. you know, for like a, for for a major your, broadcast. For your city background. In yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Or, you know, uh, send it to directly to YouTube or things like that. So, uh -huh. like I said, it's in beta. If you have any requests, send it in. So. All right, cool. And uh, what are some other new features uh, that have been rolled out in Aximetry? Well, I know they've they've been working with Valinga and they came out and they support, they actually like support like Gaussian splats now. Okay. They took this Gaussian splat of this boxer uh -huh. and the detail of it is just so amazing. And it rotates around this boxer and all this animation is built inside of Aximetry but just the detail and the playback and the ability to still sort of max out that GPU a little bit by doing all of that and still doing, you know, a 2D graphic overlay is, that's why I love Exymmetry. Yeah. yeah. So Eric, tell me, uh, you're a user of Aximetry. Yeah. Uh, kind of tell me how you've been using it uh, in different scenarios. It was at the beginning of the uh, COVID. Uh -huh. I had nothing to do and I was looking for something to, um, I was already using Unreal Engine mm -hmm. and I tried a lot of software and I fell in love with Aximetry. Mm -hmm. So I began a content creator for them. And then I was hired by a uh, studio integrator company. And I told them that I have a great software to propose to our clients. And it happened. So I'm using, for me, myself, mm -hmm. I'm using just for fun, creating things and just all those ideas I have in my head, they need to get out. Mm -hmm. And Aximetry is a great software to do that, to create things. 
And there is a few things that are coming in soon, maybe in September, yeah. that's going to help every people that wants to do virtual things. They don't have the knowledge to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think that right now in 2025, this software is like the best if you want to learn virtual and if you want to do great things and if you have time to do it, because that's the thing. If you want to do great things, you need to pass uh, your maybe your day on, the, on it. Yes. So. Uh, and what are some of, the, some of the installs or applications you've been using it for? Um, I, I'm a lightwave guy for a lot of years. Uh -huh. So when I went into Eximetry, I was like, it, for me, it was not a huge curve to learn. Uh, okay. So, and I'm using a lot of plugins, but there is a thing in Eximetry is that everything is possible. Mm -hmm. The way that the software was created, Sometimes when you don't know how to do something, you just go online, you go, you go see Jamie Penn's tutorials, uh -huh. and you're going to be able to do everything. I'm using right now the uh, Gaussian Splat okay. with Luma AI to create things. Yeah, I so was, how are you using that? Uh, I was in the Valley of Fire two days ago, okay. so I capture everything on my phone with uh -huh. Luma AI. I exported that with the Luma plugin into Unreal. Mm -hmm. I cooked my scene into Eximetry, okay. and I placed myself into the desert. It's like a 20-minute job. Uh -huh. It's fantastic, really. Nice. Have you been using uh, Gaussian splats in other uh, videos that you're making or pro, um, I'm, I'm using Eximetry for everything. Like there is a switcher section mm -hmm. in Eximetry. So, and everybody's really impressed with that because you can take only pictures. You can key yourself on it and do like a three uh, camera shoot really quickly mm -hmm. without any knowledge in 3D. Uh -huh. So that's another part of the Eximetry that people don't know. Yeah. You can uh, you, you can control your lights, you can control everything with that, mm. everything inside Eximetry. And for me, the biggest point of Eximetry is their support. Mm -hmm. I needed to work for uh, TSN in, uh, by night, mm -hmm. and I was not sure I was able to uh, repair everything that was broken. And they were coming back with me with support within 8, 10, or 30 minutes. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah. So that's a great team, and they're always available for you because they just want it to work. Yeah, that's yeah. great. What are some of the uh, features in the latest version that, that you've uh, found uh, useful? There's a new, uh, how do you call that, uh, UI, a GUI? Yeah, yeah, UI. Graphic user, user, user interface, interface. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I do think that they work on the keyer because the keyer was always good mm -hmm. and it's like better again. Okay. And I, try, and I was able to uh, make a comparison with Ultimate. Uh -huh. I don't see the difference. And for some things, for me, Eximetry is better. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm using always the keyer. Um, uh, I'm using also the, 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 light the light function. If you want to really have uh, a sense that you're in the scene, mm -hmm. you just put your lights uh, cor correctly into Unreal. You press on the lit button into Unreal, mm -hmm. into Eximetry, I'm sorry. And everything would look like you're blending into your scene more. This is a great feature that was that I was not using before. So is this using the lights on set as well, or just this is just the virtual lighting? No, only the virtual okay. lighting. But for me, it's easier because you're just uh, lighting yourself flat okay. with no shadows or anything. Uh -huh. And if your lights are well positioned into Unreal Engine, when you press, when you press that lit button, you're going to have shadows. You're going to have casting of, let's say, a blue light that is there on you. Okay. That's a fantastic feature. So that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, cool. Thanks for the update. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all of our NAB coverage. Catch you in the next episode.